session will be recorded. Um, please open the, the microphone to record the session. Sure. So welcome to our presentation about the Drupal 9 localization server upgrade initiative. Well, well, we'll know why it's important to take care and to cherish our translation tools. I am Philippe, I'm a freelance in Perpignan. Um, I'm the maintainer of the French trans uh, translation of the user guide. I'm in the French team on localize.drupal.org and I'm the coordinator of the, the initiative we're currently talking about. By the way, I'm a language, languages enthusiast and the maintainer of uh, biodiversity related modules and libraries like GBIF, and I'm a firm believer in external entities. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Nicholas. Uh, you can find me with the Nicola username on Drupal.org. I'm CTO at Actancy, and I'm a Drupal enthusiast, a Drupal translator with the French translation team. Maintainer of various models and well, voila. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stefan Auditor, uh, Sand Urs on Drupal.org. I am working at Cobain in Berlin. Uh, I'm the chairman of the German Drupal Association, German translation lead, actually, maintainer of various modules since, well, I think 20 years. I'm a father of five and we have two dogs. I guess everyone in this room knows that Drupal is multilingual, but what does it really mean? You can be multilingual in various mean meanings. You can translate content, which was greatly improved by the Drupal 8 multilingual initiative, uh, which, uh, which was led by um, Gabor Hoichi. <laughs> and I think we should thank the people who worked so hard on this. You can also translate config, but uh, this, also, this will also be out of scope. And today we will be talking about um, interface strings provided by core as well as other country projects. Um, these strings can be manually translated on a Drupal uh, instance. Uh, you can see that on this screenshot. And then translations can be imported or exported as PO files. And for quite some time, translations were distributed in a folder in modules and, uh, and projects. This is all very well and good enough for custom projects, but is there a way we can share translations across projects and instances? Well, of course there is, I guess you all know it. Whenever you install Drupal for the first time in another language other than English, for example, check, when you press, when you select check in, in, the, in the list, Drupal will download translation for you. Or whenever you install a new module, or whenever you decide to manually synchronize translations. And what happens behi behind the scenes is that Drupal is in contacting a uh, translation server, most likely, of course, localized.drupal.org. What about it? As I said, it's a translation server. It serves translation on HTTP, but more precisely, it's actually a Drupal 7 instance, so you guess we have a problem here. Um, it is used to share translation files across uh, Drupal installation. We host about two million strings, which apparently is quite a lot in the world of free and open source software. But more than that, it's actually a collaborative tool that translation teams can use to translate projects according to their own guidelines, and this is possible thanks, thanks to a permission systems uh, which is based on organic groups currently. It is... Uh, I'd say an important part of our infrastructure and even a central part uh, of it. And I think it does lack some visibility. Uh, it does need a dedicated team for evolutions and uh, for maintenance and evolutions. And as you can guess, there's an, ev an evolution which will be imposed to us. I just wanted to point out that how Umberto Eco once put it, the language of Europe is translation, which only means that there is not a single main reference language in Europe. The general way of um, uh, communicating in is by translations, which is why we might be interesting in multilingual, particularly interested in multilingual websites here in Europe, and also maybe the reasons why currently in the team there, there are only European contributors, although of course, contributors from as elsewhere will, would be more than welcome. 
Okay, so as we all know, the current instance of localize.drupal.org is in Drupal 7, and we are here to change things. So here are the two meta issues for the upgrade of all the Drupal.org websites, and the meta issue for uh, the localize instance specifically. Um, the initiative uh, first started uh, at Drupal Dev, De Dev Days in Ghent, where uh, we based our work on the previous issue from Tobias B. We started a little bit of work on it, and then uh, a team of contributors gathered around Gabor and Drem and asked many questions about the architecture. So there was Mepsi, Philippe, uh, Radelson, uh, Colorfield, and Stefan Leder. And we all uh, agreed to create this core ID, core initiative, well, community initiative, denying localization server upgrade to, uh, well, port the, the current instance of localize. First, we ask ourselves uh, how we could maybe getting out of the island. Maybe there are other solutions that could help us translate what Drupal is for every, for the community in general. So like uh, the community took a specific path for our version system, where we started from CVS to go on a, a self-hosted Git instance and then GitLab, we kind of, well, think about it and try to see what other popular tools may be used. And our specificities here was to address, well, to handle two million strings, which is, as Philip said, quite unusual for a, an open source project. And we add very many existing features for the people to collaborate on it. So we would need to port some specific feature for Drupal.org anyway. So we looked at, for example, WebLate, which is quite a popular tool for this, and thought it was not unfeasible, but for certain reason, for example, the fact that it stores the translation in a Git repository, that, um, that we don't do that, and that we don't share strings across projects, we choose to not go on this path and stay with the Drupal 9 port. So the roadmap was to focus on the D9 port, and the first step, which is the one we are still on today, is to make it work. So port the current community modules, and, well, make it work, Micr migrate the data, get a workable front end, that Stefan will show you after that, and then make it neat. So maybe refactor a bit, add more modern approach to the way it, it works today, Lo like, for example, uh, we had a, a session in the, in the previous room with, with Balu who said that statistics, analytics are hard to, to reach, so maybe add some REST API or JSON API things to gather statistics, uh, make it pretty, for example, um, well, optimize or um, improve the filters on the UI, make it reliable, we must, well, we must create a test set for it, and then make it live. So our goal today is this session, then we have a both later in the week, and uh, we will be on the contrib room in C3 on the other side of the building, so come see us. There are various improvements we can work on, like I said, statistics, we have also uh, things that we can improve on the credit uh, for the validators and translators, and also we need to, uh, to work on the organic groups versus groups where we want to go with group, so there is still work on to do on that. So the current state that Stefan will show you today is that we already have all the Drupal.org project that can be imported in the platform, so we get all the modules, all the theme, everything. We have the releases through the connectors that are already ported, and we already have the translation teams by languages, so this is what Stefan will show you now. <laughs> Never do a live demo, I heard. <laughs> okay, this is the current state. We have a working uh, Drupal 9 setup uh, with blue cheese. 
which has been part of the porting efforts already. <coughs> we have uh, the core translation status uh, on the front page. Uh, we have a projects overview, uh, a downloads page, which isn't working yet, but doesn't matter. <coughs> uh, we have the translation groups which will be imported, migrated from the D7 setup. Uh, with a board page that isn't working yet. <laughs> with a translation page uh, with filters that do work. Uh, what doesn't work yet is the translation UI, actually. Uh, we have an import page, uh, which does work, uh, importing pull files into the setup. We have got an export page for exporting translations, which also works already. Um, yes, so I just show how to parse a Drupal release with Drush. Done. This is Drupal 4.3, so uh, just 45 files and 1,200 around strings. Uh, this is much more on a D9 or D10 setup. But nonetheless, uh, this proves it works. So, and this is the current state. We have numbers. We have numbers, really. Uh, we have uh, some statistics here in the on the right side. Members. Uh, group members. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's groups already. Uh, we got uh, right. We got translation groups. Um, this is group module, uh, which are already migrated. Oh can be migrated and uh, oh, I add the back end. We got overview pages for the entities we have, uh, the projects, the releases. Um, we have the files, the lines that have been parsed, the strings that have been parsed, uh, the translations. Uh, we have a change log. We have status flags for the translations, if it's uh, suggestions or uh, actual translations, and the list of uh, errors and warnings that the parser gave us. So this is <laughs> this is just uh, lines. sorry lines. Yeah, essentially, this is uh, legacy from D7. Uh, so doesn't have much functionality, it's uh, basically statistics. So now that we've talked about the current state, um, how could we later, when improve, um, localize? Here I gave some examples um, of a tool which, is which has been used by the French community for some years. Um, it's a separate website, D7.2, uh, accessible at traduction.drupal.fr. We do have a glossary that is a list of terms um, for which we agree on a generally accepted uh, translation. Um, the screenshot is, the, is the middle, in the middle is just to show that um, every team can act according to its own guidelines and here it's, it, it has its own good practices. And then we have a, a statistics screenshot and this is done by passing um, with XPath. <laughs> yes. So we wish we had, I don't know, web services or JSON or these uh, new things we've just heard about. And I was glad to learn that Bailu Earth uh, had just the same issue. And uh, <laughs> so it confirms that we definitely need tools like this. And then thanks to this glossary, and again, Bailu Earth uh, worked, has already worked on uh, a memory tool solution. We could generalize it because currently it's only a browser extension for the French language only. And when you install this French this extension, whenever you hover, sorry, 
whenever you hover a term, you've got this uh, tooltip which appears and which show shows the generally accepted translation for this term, node, item, etc. And this could be generalized, implemented in localized and generalized for every language to make it more easy to contribute uh, and to translate Drupal. As a conclusion, you saw that what we can do in the current state. Um, we also have a DDEV local instance, which is uh, handy to begin to contribute. We need your feedback. We definitely like to hear from you what, what you need, what features are important to you, just missing. Uh, you can ask us now, but I guess we won't have a lot of time left. So uh, you can also scan uh, the QR code below to um, fill in the, the form, the virtual uh, suggestion box. Or just come tomorrow um, at 3 p.m., room D2. Uh, there will be a buff. Or ca come and see us in the contribution room at any time. If you'd like to contribute, please do come uh, to the buff tomorrow, 3 p.m. Or you can also come to the contribution room. We hold a meeting on Jitsi every third Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central European time, and you can also reach us on localized on Slack or localized dash port dash d9 on drupalchat.me. Everybody wants your contribution, of course, so there are many occasions to contribute. I guess you've already seen the slides before. And of course, everybody wants your feedback. Please evaluate the conference and also this indiv individual session. Please give us at least one star that will ditch us from DrupalCon forever. And <laughs> that will be such a great loss. So I guess there are some minutes left for questions. Uh, thank you. My first question was uh, regarding migration. Uh, do you plan to separate off the Drupal 5 and Drupal 6 related strings, or is it would be hard to separate because on I'm not sure if the release uh, is it stored on the strings level, which release it is using. Uh, yes. Uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Um, we could separate this. Uh, we're starting uh, Drupal 4.0, by the way. Uh, the, so the data goes back to the, the earliest release we have, I think. Um, we could pass them out, but not on a string level, yeah. uh, because the strings do not have the relation to the release. So if you want to play around with this site, is this a distribution where it's hosted? Uh. Yes, uh, it's a installation profile, basically. We got the full configuration in, a in, in, in our Git repository. Um, it's localized Drupal. No. Well, come, come to see us. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. I can't okay. remember the URL, but we have a working setup to clone and uh, install right away. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I think one more we can do. I, I was just looking around if anyone has questions, so I don't want to steal the show. Uh, my question is that do you plan to migrate all the contexts from the current localize? Or do we have any plans to somehow clear up this very hard l situation with the context? The context with the strings, uh, well, this is data passed from the code base, yeah. so we won't clear that up, I think. It's like it is, and we have to handle that. Okay. 
Oh, okay. There's one last question. Is there a vision why we need to change data model? It looks uh, working all these years. Uh, why uh, current state needs to discuss it? Yeah, that's uh, clear. Uh, first thing is uh, Drupal 7 is uh, end of life at some day. And we need to upgrade to Drupal 9. Uh, we are currently implementing the current state as it is. Uh, but surely we want to improve someday. Good, then thank you for joining us today. Um, if you have any more questions, go to the meetings or speak to them privately.